Flavivirus, Wikipedia Audio Flavivirus is a genus of viruses in the family Flaviviridae. This genus includes the West Nile virus, dengue virus, tick-borne encephalitis virus, yellow fever virus, Zika virus, and several other viruses which may cause encephalitis, as well as insect-specific flaviviruses such as cell-fusing agent virus, Palm Creek virus, and Parramatta River virus. Flaviviruses are named from the yellow fever virus, the type virus for the family, the word flavus means yellow in Latin. The name yellow fever in turn originated from its propensity to cause yellow jaundice in victims. Taxonomy Flaviviruses share several common aspects, common size, symmetry, nucleic acid, and appearance in the electron microscope. Most of these viruses are transmitted by the bite from an infected arthropod and hence, classified as arboviruses. Human infections with most of these arboviruses are incidental, as humans are unable to replicate the virus to high enough titers to reinfect the arthropods needed to continue the virus life cycle humans are then a dead end host. The exceptions to this are the yellow fever, dengue, and Zika viruses. These three viruses still require mosquito vectors, but are well enough adapted to humans as to not necessarily depend upon animal hosts. SL2 Other virus transmission routes for arboviruses include handling infected animal carcasses, blood transfusion, childbirth, and through consumption of unpasteurized milk products. Transmission from non-human vertebrates to humans without an intermediate vector arthropod is thought to be unlikely. For example, early tests with yellow fever showed that the disease is not contagious. The known non-arboviruses of the Flaviviruse family reproduce in either arthropods or vertebrates, but not both, with one odd member of the genus affecting a nematode. Group SSRNA Viruses in Flaviviruse are enveloped, with icosahedral and spherical geometries. The diameter is around 50 nm. Genomes are linear positive sense RNA and non-segmented, around 10-11 kb in length. SL4 Entry into the host cell is achieved by attachment of the viral envelope protein E to host receptors, which mediates clathrin-mediated endocytosis. Replication follows the positive stranded RNA virus replication model. Positive stranded RNA virus transcription is the method of transcription. Humans, mammals, mosquitoes, and ticks serve as the natural host. Transmission routes are zoonosis and bite. Flaviviruses have a sense RNA genome and replicate in the cytoplasm of the host cells. The genome mimics the cellular mRNA molecule in all aspects except for the absence of the polyadenylated tail. This feature allows the virus to exploit cellular apparatus to synthesize both structural and non-structural proteins. During replication, the cellular ribosome is crucial to the replication of the flavivirus, as it translates the RNA, in a similar fashion to cellular mRNA, resulting in the synthesis of a single polyprotein. In general, the genome encodes three structural proteins and seven non-structural proteins. The genomic RNA is modified at the 5 end of positive strand genomic RNA with a CAP1 structure. DB1 slash DB2 Structure Cellular RNA CAP structures are formed via the action of an RNA triphosphatase with guanylyl transferase and 7-methyltransferase and 2-O-methyltransferase. The virus encodes these activities in its non-structural proteins. 
The NS3 protein encodes a RNA triphosphatase within its helicase domain. It uses the helicase ADP hydrolysis site to remove the gamma phosphate from the 5 end of the RNA. The N terminal domain of the non structural protein 5 has both the N7 methyltransferase and guanylyl transferase activities necessary for forming mature RNA cap structures. RNA binding affinity is reduced by the presence of ADP or GTP and enhanced by S adenosylmethionine. This protein also encodes a 2O methyltransferase. Once translated, the polyprotein is cleaved by a combination of viral and host proteases to release mature polypeptide products. Nevertheless, cellular post translational modification is dependent on the presence of a poly A tail, therefore, this process is not host dependent. Instead, the polyprotein contains an autocatalytic feature which automatically releases the first peptide, a virus-specific enzyme. This enzyme is then able to cleave the remaining polyprotein into the individual products. One of the products cleaved is a polymerase, responsible for the synthesis of a sense RNA molecule. Consequently, this molecule acts as the template for the synthesis of the genomic progeny RNA. Flavivirus genomic RNA replication occurs on rough endoplasmic reticulum membranes and membranous compartments. New viral particles are subsequently assembled. This occurs during the budding process which is also responsible for the accumulation of the envelope and cell lysis. AG protein coupled receptor kinase 2 appears to be important in entry and replication for several flaviviridae. The sense RNA genome of flavivirus contains 5 and 3 untranslated regions. The 5 UTRs are 95101 nucleotides long in dengue virus. There are two conserved structural elements in the flavivirus 5 UTR a large stem loop and a short stem loop. Slaw folds into a Y-shaped structure with a side stem loop and a small top loop. Slaw is likely to act as a promoter, and is essential for viral RNA synthesis. SLB is involved in interactions between the 5 UTR and 3 UTR which result in the cyclization of the viral RNA, which is essential for viral replication. Life cycle Replication The three UTRs are typically 0.30.5 kb in length and contain a number of highly conserved secondary structures which are conserved and restricted to the flavivirus family. The majority of analysis has been carried out using West Nile virus to study the function the three UTR. CRE RNA Secondary Structure Elements 5 UTR 3 UTR Conserved Hairpin CHP The Role of RNA Secondary Structures in SFRNA Production Currently 8 secondary structures have been identified within the 3 UTR of WNV and RSLI, SL2, SL3, SL4, DB1, DB2 and CRE. Some of these secondary structures have been characterized and are important in facilitating viral replication and protecting the 3 UTR from 5 endonuclease digestion. Nuclease resistance protects the downstream 3 UTR RNA fragment from degradation and is essential for virus-induced cytopathicity and pathogenicity. Greek goat encephalitis virus, Catam virus, Krasnodar virus, Mojana tick virus, Angoy virus, Sokolik virus, Spanish sheep encephalomyelitis virus, Turkish sheep encephalitis virus, Tick-borne encephalitis virus serocomplex, Absetarab virus, Deer tick virus, Gadgets gully virus, Karshi virus, 
Kyasanar Forest Disease Virus, Alkerma Hemorrhagic Fever Virus. SL2 has been suggested to contribute to nuclease resistance. It may be related to another hairpin loop identified in the 5 UTR of the Japanese encephalitis virus genome. The JEV hairpin is significantly overrepresented upon host cell infection and it has been suggested that the hairpin structure may play a role in regulating RNA synthesis. Kama virus, Mibon virus, Samaras reef virus, Tyelani virus. This secondary structure is located within the 3 UTR of the genome of Flavivirus upstream of the DB elements. The function of this conserved structure is unknown but is thought to contribute to ribonuclease resistance. Evolution These two conserved secondary structures are also known as pseudo-repeat elements. They were originally identified within the genome of dengue virus and are found adjacent to each other within the 3 UTR. They appear to be widely conserved across the flaviviridae. These DB elements have a secondary structure consisting of three helices and they play a role in ensuring efficient translation. Deletion of DB1 has a small but significant reduction in translation but deletion of DB2 has little effect. Deleting both DB1 and DB2 reduced translation efficiency of the viral genome to 25%. CRE is the cis-acting replication element, also known as the three SLRNA elements, and is thought to be essential in viral replication by facilitating the formation of a replication complex. Although evidence has been presented for an existence of a pseudonaut structure in this RNA, it does not appear to be well conserved across flaviviruses. Deletions of the three UTR of flaviviruses have been shown to be lethal for infectious clones. A conserved hairpin structure was later found in several flaviviruses genomes and is thought to direct translation of capsid proteins. It is located just downstream of the AUG start codon. Subgenomic flaviviruses RNA is an extension of the 3 UTR and has been demonstrated to play a role in flaviviruses replication and pathogenesis. SFRNA is produced by incomplete degradation of genomic viral RNA by the host cells 53-exorabinuclease 1. As the XRN1 degrades viral RNA, it stalls at stem loops formed by the secondary structure of the 5 and 3 UTR. This pause results in an undigested fragment of genome RNA known as SFRNA. SFRNA influences the life cycle of the flavivirus in a concentration-dependent manner. Accumulation of SFRNA causes antagonization of the cell's innate immune response thus decreasing host defense against the virus inhibition of XRN1 and DICER activity to modify RNAi pathways that destroy viral RNA modification of the viral replication complex to increase viral reproduction. Overall, SFRNA is implied in multiple pathways that compromise host defenses and promote infection by flaviviruses. The flaviviruses can be divided into two clades, one with the vector-borne viruses and the other with no known vector. The vector clade in turn can be subdivided into a mosquito-borne clade and a tick-borne clade. These groups can be divided again. The mosquito group can be divided into two branches, one branch contains the neurotropic viruses, often associated with encephalitic disease in humans or livestock. This branch tends to be spread by Culex species and to have bird reservoirs. The second branch is the non-neurotropic viruses which are associated with hemorrhagic disease in humans. These tend to have Aedes species as vectors and primate hosts. The tick-borne viruses also form two distinct groups. One is associated with seabirds and the other, 
the tick-borne encephalitis complex viruses, is associated primarily with rodents. Species The viruses that lack a known vector can be divided into three groups, one closely related to the mosquito-borne viruses which is associated with bats, a second, genetically more distant, is also associated with bats, and a third group is associated with rodents. It seems likely that tick transmission may have been derived from a mosquito-borne group. Tick-borne viruses A partial genome of a flavivirus has been found in the sea spider Indias spinosa. The sequences are related to those in the insect-specific flaviviruses. It is not presently clear how this sequence fits into the evolution of this group of viruses. Estimates of divergence times have been made for several of these viruses. The origin of these viruses appears to be at least 9,400 to 14,000 years ago. The Old World and New World dengue strains diverged between 150 and 450 years ago. The European and Far Eastern tick-borne encephalitis strains diverged about 1,087 years ago. European tick-borne encephalitis and looping ill viruses diverged about 572 years ago. This latter estimate is consistent with historical records. Kunjan virus diverged from West Nile virus approximately 277 years ago. This time corresponds to the settlement of Australia from Europe. The Japanese encephalitis group appears to have evolved in Africa 2,000-3,000 years ago and then spread initially to Southeast Asia before migrating to the rest of Asia. Mosquito-borne viruses Viruses with no known arthropod vector Non-vertebrate viruses Phylogenetic studies of the West Nile virus have shown that it emerged as a distinct virus around 1,000 years ago. This initial virus developed into two distinct lineages, lineage 1 and its multiple profiles is the source of the epidemic transmission in Africa and throughout the world. Lineage 2 was considered an Africa zoonosis. However, in 2008, lineage 2, previously only seen in horses in sub-Saharan Africa and Madagascar, began to appear in horses in Europe, where the first known outbreak affected 18 animals in Hungary in 2008. Lineage 1 West Nile virus was detected in South Africa in 2010 in a mare and her aborted fetus, previously, only Lineage 2 West Nile virus had been detected in horses and humans in South Africa. A 2007 fatal case in a killer whale in Texas broadened the known host range of West Nile virus to include cetaceans. Omsk hemorrhagic fever virus appears to have evolved within the last 1,000 years. The viral genomes can be divided into two clades A and B. Clade A has five genotypes and clade B has one. These clades separated about 700 years ago. This separation appears to have occurred in the Kurgan province. Clade A subsequently underwent division into clade C, D, and E 230 years ago. Clade C and E appear to have originated in the Novosibirsk and Omsk provinces respectively. The muskrat Ondotrizibthicus which is highly susceptible to this virus was introduced into this area in the 1930s. Mammalian Tick-Borne Virus Group Seabird Tick-Borne Virus Group The very successful yellow fever 17D vaccine introduced in 1937, produced dramatic reductions in epidemic activity. Effective inactivated Japanese encephalitis and tick-borne encephalitis vaccines were introduced in the middle of the 20th century. 
Unacceptable adverse events have prompted change from a mouse brain inactivated Japanese encephalitis vaccine to safer and more effective second generation Japanese encephalitis vaccines. These may come into wide use to effectively prevent this severe disease in the huge populations of Asia, North, South, and Southeast. The dengue viruses produce many millions of infections annually due to transmission by a successful global mosquito vector. As mosquito control has failed, several dengue vaccines are in varying stages of development. Sid TDV, sold under the trade name Dengvaxia, is a tetravalent chimeric vaccine that splices structural genes of the four dengue viruses onto a 17D yellow fever backbone. Dengvaxia is approved in five countries. Viruses known only from sequencing. Vaccines.